to the not so newlywed game. I'm your host, Emma Ganyan. We're thrilled to have three special couples who are all youth parents here with us this evening. Couples, please introduce yourself and share how long you've been married. Hi, we're Kathy and Jay Johnson and we've been married 22 years. We're Kurt and Erica Trubenbach and we've been married 20 years. And this is my husband, Steve, and we, in May, we will be married 17 years. Excellent. Thank you all for joining us. Tonight, we will find out just how well everybody knows their spouse. The couple with the most matching answers at the end of the evening will be declared the winners and receive a special prize. Let's get the show started. We're going to make it easy for you tonight. Nobody has to get up. You'll each write your own answers on pieces of paper. Please write each answer on a separate page. Make sure that you don't look at what your spouse is writing. Flip over your paper when you're done with that question, and then we'll move on to the next one. Please write large enough so that the audience can see your answers when they're revealed. You're welcome to hold them closer to the camera since we're playing virtually. We're going to have two rounds, one about the wives and one about the husbands. Each round will have two parts, three open-ended questions and five this or that questions. Let's get started with the open-ended questions. These questions will be about the wives. Gentlemen, answer each question about your wife. Ladies, write what your answer to the question is. Are we ready? Yes. Yes. Yep. All right. So the first question, if you were meeting your wife out for dinner, but you were running late and suggested she order an appetizer, what would she order? All right, question two. Your wife has an evening all to herself. How does she spend it? So ladies, you'll write down how you would spend the evening. Okay, are we ready for number three? This is the last one of this section. If your wife chose the music in the car, what would you be listening to? Like station or kind of music or? However you think your wife is going to answer. Tricky. Okay. All right. Looks like we're ready to go through the answers. So let's start with the Johnsons. Was it, what, Jay, what was your answer to question one? What appetizer did you think that Kathy would order at a restaurant? Oh. You're just oh. Mozzarella sticks. All right. Kathy, was he right? That's fair. I wrote. Can you see it? Oh, your Jeez virtual girl. background is taking it. <laughs> Not quite. All mm -hmm. right. Well, Steve, what was your answer about Sarah? I said nachos. Mm, that's a good guess. What did you write? I went with artichoke spinach dip. Also huh? delicious. I thought about that one. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, Kurt, what did you write about Erica? Yeah, I didn't think I was just write it down. I thought she was just supposed to write it down. So I, I was going to answer veggie platter. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't have, sorry, you said, you said ladies write it down, so I didn't write anything no, down. No, that's okay. You're good. <laughs> Erica, what did you write? There's not usually a lot of uh, appetizers I can eat. So I said French fries. French fries. <laughs> All right. Well, nobody, maybe it's just because we haven't been to restaurants in a while. Yeah, we, we both said cheese. Yeah, I was going to say, did the Johnson's get a half do point coming up with cheese there? On. Yeah, sure. We can, <laughs> we'll go with a half point. <laughs> and Kathy did say, and Kathy did say, yeah, I would have ordered that. <laughs> <laughs> all right um let's we'll go around in the same order for question number two about the evening to the the wife's self jay what did you write for kathy how would she spend it watching bachelor or bachelorette <laughs> <laughs> kathy what did you write i put reading uh -huh. oh. All right, Steve, what did you write for Sarah? 
I wrote watching a British show probably on PBS or maybe Netflix. No. Sarah, what did you write? That's a good guess. That one was shopping. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. Kurt, what did you write for Erica? Um, I was thinking of Bath and an audiobook. Erica? If we had a good sized tub, yeah, but um, I wrote reading and crocheting. All right. <laughs> no winners. All right. No. And no half points that round either. Nope. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's reverse the order this time. So this is for question number three about the music in the car. Kurt, what did you say Erica would choose? I think it's a big country. Huh? No. It says country. You. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. Steve, what did you write? I also wrote country. Sarah? I got really more specific, and I went with the Dixie Chicks which are they're actually now go by the chicks, but I went really specific and maybe a half point for that. Maybe one. a half point. Yeah. <laughs> I think that I'm, I'm feeling like a half point for that one. Definitely. All right. <laughs> Jay, Jay, what did you write? Uh, Kathy always sets the radio to KS95. Oh, good one, Kathy. <laughs> and I always set the radio to Jack FM. So her said Cast 95, mine says 94.5 Cast 95. All right. That's another thing. Cool. All right. So now it's time to do our this one. or that question. So take one of your pieces of paper and number it one through five. Um, it's a, just a lightning round where I'll present two choices. And it's the same kind of thing. Um, so gentlemen, write down the one that you think that your wife would choose of the two and ladies write down the one that you would choose. I'll give you a second to number. All right. So the first one, beach or mountains? Number two, coffee or tea? Number three, read a book or watch a movie? Number four, silver or gold? And number five, Sweet snack or savory snack? Okay, let's start with the walls. Why don't you, so Steve, read your answer first and then Sarah, read yours for all five. All right, for number one, Sarah would rather be in the mountains. That's correct. Nice. For number two, this is an easy one. She's a tea drinker. Tea, yep. Uh, number three, probably the hardest question. I'll say she would choose the movie over a book. What movie? Uh, number four, silver over gold. Silver. Number five was tough too. Um, I said sweet. I went sweet. Wow. Nice. Beat that. Uh -oh. Five. We're in trouble. <laughs> All right. And um, Truman Box, why don't you go next? Uh, number one, I said beach. Beach. Number two, I said tea. Yeah. Number three, I said read a book. Yeah. Number four, I said gold. Yeah. And number five, I said sweet. Yeah. All right, Johnsons, are you feeling the pressure? Yes, yes definitely. <laughs> All right, go for it. Uh, number one, I said beach. Yep. 
Uh, number two, she hates coffee and tea. So neither, but I wrote tea because she probably hates tea less than coffee. I said neither. Oh. How? Uh, three, I said read a book. Yep. Four, I said go. Nope. Oh. <laughs> and five, I said sweet. Yep. Wow. That was an impressive round for everybody. Um, okay. So when we add up those scores with what you had before, that puts the treatment box in the lead by a very narrow 0. 0.5. <laughs> <laughs> and both the Walls and the Johnsons have five and a half points. The treatment box had six. Okay, so that's leading us into round two. And this time, the questions are all about the husband. So ladies, you'll write down each question about your husband and husbands write down your own answer to the question. And we'll do these like those first open-ended ones where we'll do a piece of paper per question. All right, are we ready? Yep. Yep. I guess. Okay. <laughs> question one, you ask your husband to pick up a dessert. What would he get? All right, question number two. Imagine COVID is over and it is time to plan a family vacation. Where would your husband want to go? Uh, does that include we have to take the kids? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, yeah, let's go with the, with the family vacation. Yeah, you're, oh. the two of you and your kids. <laughs> I actually debated doing it the other way. So if you want to write down both answers for fun, you're welcome to. <laughs> All right. And the last question of this round, it's your husband's turn to cook dinner. What does he make? All right, are we ready to go through our answers? Okay, question number one, this was about the dessert. Um, Erica, why don't you share your guess about Kurt? <sighs> I don't know. I said chocolate cake. Cheesecake. Oh, cheesecake. cheesecake. He's right. not a big dessert eater, so. <laughs> it's tricky. They both said right. cake. I don't know. Yeah, those are kind of different. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, I would vote them as, as different desserts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sarah, why don't you share what you wrote? I said ice cream. As did I. Ice cream. Ooh. Nice. Nice. All right. <laughs> oh. Kathy? I said pie. Banana cream. I said banana cream pie. Oh. Oh. Nice. All right. Question number two. Sarah, why don't you start us off? Yeah, I got really specific. I went Yellowstone National Park. Ooh. I guess you didn't. I, I like one. her answer better than mine. I wrote Colorado or Utah. Well, no. you know, now we're just inspiring your trip. So I guess you'll go with Yellowstone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kathy, why don't you go next? I said um, Universal Studios. Yeah, well, okay. I said Orlando, I meaning we're going to Universal <laughs> Studios because we just kind of talked about it the other day. And I said, if we're not taking the kids, we're going to Bora Bora. So, hey, nice. <laughs> that sounds like, yeah, those are, those are both great options. All right, nice job. Um, all right, Erica. Um, I said Glen Lake. Hey. Michigan, not Glen Lake, Minnesota, which I didn't know existed until this summer. I wasn't familiar with either, so good to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number three. Um, and that was about what would your husband make for dinner? Kathy? Frozen pizza. 
<laughs> yeah, that's probably true. I wrote burgers on the grill, but probably would be frozen pizza. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. <laughs> All right, Erica. I said uh, superhero pasta. Mm. What is superhero pasta? It's it's a dish that the name has evolved over the years. <laughs> it's called souped up pasta, and it's a, a Campbell's one skillet meal. But when Alex was little, it became soupy pasta, and then superhero pasta, and it's kind of stuck. <laughs> nice. Sounds good. All right. And Sarah, what did you write? I did a uh, chicken pot pie. Yeah, those are good. Steve did it. I, no, I went with ribs. <laughs> what? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. So let's go on to our this or that round about the husband. So again, um, ladies, you'll write down what your husband would choose between the two options. And um, gentlemen will write down what you choose. All right, number one, pizza or burger? Number two, call or text? Number three, a card game or a board game? Number four, a night in or a night out? And the last one, winter or summer? All right, is anyone feeling super confident? Anyone want to volunteer to go first? Those were tougher than the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> we, we can go first. Okay. Okay, so Erica, you'll read your guess, and then Kurt, you'll confirm or not. Uh, pizza. Right. Text. Um, I prefer call. <laughs> that depends. <laughs> If it's me, yeah, okay. If it's a business or a order of food or anything else, no. <laughs> uh, card game? Board game. Oh. <laughs> yeah. A night in? Yes, a night in. And winter? Yes, winter. Nice. All right. Who wants to go next? What? I feel like we have a chance now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go for up. it. All right, okay. Sarah, you start. Okay, uh, number one, I said pizza. Yep, pizza. Number two, I said call. Yep, I said call too. Number three, I said cards. I said card game. Number four, night in. I said night in. Number five, summer. Definitely summer. Ooh. 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 Put the pressure on you, Johnsons, now. Uh, Again. I think we're in trouble. <laughs> this is All hard. right. Go ahead, Kathy, when you're ready. All right, I said pizza. Pizza. Uh, number two, I said text. Text. Three was a little tricky. I said card game. Yeah. Oh, I said card games over board games. Usually the kids and Kathy play board games. I like playing cards or dice. Okay, number four, I said a night out. Yep, night out. And five, I said summer. Yep. Yay! Summer! <laughs> Woo wow. All right. Well, that... What's a three-way tie, I think? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it got, gotta, closer. it got closer. It got closer at off. the end. But... 
It looks like... The Johnsons are the winners. We're lucky we won because the kids said I couldn't have coffee. And they said Kathy couldn't have Diet Coke if we didn't win, so. Oh. Like a week? No, a month or something like that. Wow. Some wagers on that. Yeah. Well, way to go. And you are also the winners of the Traveling Trophy Spaghetti Man. (laughs) You can display him somewhere in your home until next year when we play the not so newlywed game again. Thank you so much for playing everybody. We really appreciate it and it was fun to get to know you better.